So let's see what is um, coming your way. And um, it's a deck I can't uh, normally shuffle as I wanted to because it's kind of difficult to shuffle. So we're gonna have to be patient about, right? And it's also because I combined a couple of them. So anyway, okay, good. You know what? Let's cut the cards and see the bottom of the deck. For the overall energy at this time the most important one and oh my god are you kidding me we have the ten of cups and we have the king of pentacles and we have the page of swords gemini libra or aquarius and the, we have the full and the ace of wands and the page of cups and the full again <laughs> are you kidding me and the wish fulfillment and the I love you, I want you, I want to make love to you card with the Knight of Cups energy. And this is all yours. It's I took all the cards because it's only one message here. And we do have pages. So we have the Page of Cups. We have Communication. We have the Page of Swords. We have Apologies if the Apologies are needed. We have Communication if Communication is needed. We have the King of Pentacles, somebody saying to you as the overall energy, it's okay, baby, I'll take care of you. King of Pentacles is the provider, somebody who's stable, has a good career, makes good money, is stable, willing to nurture, willing to love. We also have the full a couple of times, give me another chance, right? That's a full in love readings. Ace of Wands, I feel so passionately about you. And you are my wish fulfillment. Nine of Cups with the Knight of Cups, which is your energy. It is an amazing, amazing message as the overall. And it has a lot, a lot of love in it. Now we can stop the reading here. I mean, we just got our best message ever. I want my Ten of Cups with you, right? That's exactly the message I feel passionately about. But let's see. We like, we like this conclusion. I'm not going to say let's not jump to conclusions. This one is the best conclusion ever. <laughs> so anyways, past energies on your side, the person you are dealing with. Current energies on your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual. And let's have the possible outcome. For you, the person you are dealing with and mutual energies. King of Cups, are you kidding me? This is absolutely your energy. I'm going to take it because it's a beautiful energy of love here. They want another chance, Cancer. They don't want to let go. You are the one. You are the one. There is no doubt. So what happened in the past? We do have the messenger of um, Earth and it is the Knight of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, the Capricorn energy and the Five of Pentacles. So um, rejection um abandonment this is i need my time my space um this is no thank you and um this is also the energy of somebody saying i will always be your friend right friend zone um no for love or no thank you but uh, i'll be your friend i'll be there i'll be stable and probably this is the energy that they brought your way um and it feels like um, it came with a lot of its stability Right? It came with financial stress, financial issues, something that you had to, you know, feeling lonely, a feeling that you need to do something in order to get back on, um, on horse, as I like to say, but in control in some way. And very grounded. I love this. Somehow, whatever happened and, and however they um, um, ghosted you or uh, became cold or said, you know, let's be friends. We are better friends than actually um, you know left you grounded and 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 you know in control and in, in in some way again maybe not about money but for the rest it feels a little bit uh, like you continuing to live your life no matter what now this person of yours the emperor and the ace of pentacles right they might have um planned a new beginning this is actually 
by excellence and energy where they got a promotion and they walked away or they had to travel we do have the emperor with the ace of pentacles an opportunity came their way in the past and they decided to take control and say yes to accept it to act on it the emperor is a lot of organizing for it uh, planning for it and it feels like the energy of they might have expected that opportunity their whole life it showed up and it came with sacrifices and having to make choices tough choices and probably you are the one uh, might have been the one um, sacrificed in the process mutual energies between the two of you we have the knight of cups again uh, as the overall energy and the six of pentacles there was love there was balance there was generosity kindness that was also um, maybe cancer you um, your energy in between or maybe you are the one calming uh, the waters here maybe you are the one bringing all the balance and bringing the pentacles in terms of groundiness and stability to this connection and of course a lot of love and I, I, I feel I feel that there was a lot of love between you and your person they might have um, being a little bit cold a little bit you know kind of not um giving the same level of emotions not vibing in the in the same way you are expecting but nonetheless they came from a place of um you know i love cancer and, and staying in control and but still following a following an opportunity that they had so where are we right now king of swords and the hangman gemini libra or aquarius energy but i mainly feel this is your energy at this point and it's one of detachment and the one of observing, one of um, enlightenment, one of looking, one of um, searching a meaning for it and trying to understand uh, what purpose um, it will serve, right, the situation. And of course, it feels like nothing is happening and it might be because you, you are actually, you might be blocking or the universe is kind of showing you, you know, that we behave a little bit like the king of swords we stay by the right thing but we might not engage in warm communication and it's more kind of cordial it feels like a cordial energy even if you know you put on hold everything um cancer this person of yours they have the strength leo energy and the ace of cups they are taming the love for you this is the energy of being on their best behavior controlling themselves but at the end of the day they have this ace of cups for you there is also a new beginning it's like they are completely changing their life at this point uh, it feels like it started in the past it started with something solid you know when you start a new job and you you don't know what this is all about and as you take the layers off it feels it feels good and feels emotional not emotional in a bad way but you connect emotionally with what you do and what responsibilities you have and you start to develop and kind of feel comfort you know comforted in um in this but nonetheless they are staying strong and they are staying courageous and when it comes to you they tame themselves right again this energy they are reacting to the king of swords probably the energy you are in right now and they react exactly mirroring you with the strength right i'm gonna tame my passion i'm gonna take my i'm gonna tame my emotions and what i need to say mutual energies between the two of you king of wands aries leo sagittarius and the ace of swords that is communication in silence is very interesting right communication in silence you might be communicating through social media the fact that you you know post stuff kind of gives them a vibe of what's going on and uh, they might be doing this and you get a vibe of what's going on nonetheless there is a new beginning between the two of you that is absolutely a passionate new beginning it has a sense of initiative and action and um you want to do this they want to do this there is still a lot of passion in this connection and a lot of truth and a lot of communication that needs to happen in order for us to have that leap of faith um the fool twice says to me that both of you want to take a leap of faith both of you want to have this it's a wish for coming true um it's a happiness right a sense of happiness and it has stability and passion king of pentacles with the king of wands right at the core of the reading right and I love the battle, the beautiful battle between the mind and the passion. 
um, it has something special, kind of a um, class, right? It's a superior kind of class when we can combine, combine, sorry, the mind and the passion. So um, this is how it feels in term energetically, right? Between you and this person of yours. Coming your way, oh, it's meant to be, I love the eight, eight of swords, eight of pentacles, working on your mental prison. For some of you, this is guidance, right? For some of you, is the universe saying, you might, because you are in a king of swords energy right now, which is detachment, stepping back, being more in your mind than in your feelings, and coming from a place of doing what's right and, and being very uh, formal about and the universe is kind of saying you are in a you know um your mind is the prison and we need to learn from the situation and we need to work on it that's eight of pentacles for some of you effort somebody is willing to put an effort and yeah, the, the effort into this connection to get the swords um you know to release the swords that um keep you hostage keep them hostage and the person coming your way, I just love this. They have the Knight of Wands with the Temperance. Compromise, it's kind of taming the fire that they feel for you. Cancer, and of course, can be a fire sign. But Knight of Wands is a lot of passion and sensuality. Strength is a lot of lust. And it comes, and it's the same energy, right? And it comes with patience. So it's taming the fire and the passion they have for you. It is the energy right now and it's it's the energy coming their way. Coming from a place of patience, a, a place of calmness, a, a place of working on themselves and working on the fire that is, I don't want to say destroying them, it has nothing with uh, destroying, but it's messing up with everything else, right? When, when we walk um, and you have temptation, boy, they have so much lust for you and desire cancer we have the devil with the king of wands again might be a fire sign you are dealing with but this is the energy of i am going to go not if i don't make love to my cancer okay it's the i mean there are no words um about this um anyways so that is I mean, it's screaming with desire. This reading is screaming with desire and passion and lust. So, just saying. Um, and the Nine of Cups and the Wish Fulfillment and the Leap of Faith and the Ten of Cups, right? But this right here, Knight of Wands with the Strength and the Patience and the Ace of Cups is screaming with uh, desire. And the Devil with the King of Wands Again, screaming with desire. And the King of Wands with the Ace of Swords wanting to say it, wanting to express it, uh, being smart about it, uh, wanting to act on it, right? Going straight to the point. And the point is desire. So, and a fire sign might be. So, Cancer, let's ask for some guidance. Let's see if the universe says yay or nay. We do have release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy, Cancer. If you have some baggage or um, you connect with this person through something, some unsolved issues uh, from the past, we are really um, guided to release your ex. Reconciliation, it does feel like one. Someone from the past is returning to your life and guess what? We need to take them and go into retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. And you go, you see the imagery on this, you take your person and you spend time together. Bottom of the deck is passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy and express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture because they could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Beautiful. Are you kidding me? Reconciliation, express your love, passion, and lust. Um, let's see what else is there for us. We do have be supportive. Make a genuine effort to show you care. When it comes to this connection, this is what you are guided to do. We have the sacred woman coming from a place of divine feminine, ascension, spiritual maturity. 
we have completion, masculine and feminine energy, yin and yang. Beautiful. And we have creativity, which is kind of like the empress, right? It is kind of like the empress energy. We need to be creative for this beautiful connection. I know for some of you, this is embrace an opportunity for love in your work, prospects, or for spiritual growth bottom of the deck so this is beautiful let's um let's see the energies we need to put back into the flow um cancer and then we say goodbye yeah they are yours they this reading is screaming with desire they are screaming with desire here we do have acceptance so this is what we need to put back into the flow right these are activation cards so um, kind of the energy of what you need to say under your breath all through the day so that you activate acceptance, right? I am learning to accept the things I cannot change. And you do have release your ex and acceptance. Some of you, it's all about working on releasing somebody in order to get love. And we do have love. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. I commit to the practice of seeing good in all things. We do have cooperation. In your quest to manifest the energy of love, you realize that every person in experience has value. We do have courage. I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. And bottom of the deck, oh my God, is so um, in line with the whole reading. Surrender to your soul's path. Your life's journey has been perfectly designed for your soul's growth. Embrace every lesson and every moment. Beautiful. I absolutely love this. So, um, Cancer, this is all that I have for you guys. I wish you nothing but the best. I want you to stay strong and safe and come see me next time. Love you. Take care.